Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, there's more and more carnivores joining us here in the UK. It sounds like they're coming from a different country, but there's more and more people converting to carnivore here in the UK for obvious reasons. Um, if, you, if you're new to carnivore or if you're thinking about carnivore, there's plenty of videos out there. There's plenty of research that you can do to discover why lots of people are switching over from the standard Western diet or even from keto to the uh, carnivore diet. It has so many benefits. Um, but yeah, there's links below if you're interested in finding out a bit more about that. But today I wanted to show you what's inside the fridge of a carnivore. Now, in this fridge is about a week's worth of food for me. Um, maybe a little bit more, uh, depending on how many meals I have. Generally, I have two meals a day. I am switching to try and go to one meal a day. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, I've took everything out of the fridge that isn't... Uh, mine so because obviously i live in a household with other people i'll show you a little bit of what is there as well but um in the fridge currently is just what i'll be eating okay so let's take a look okay i generally don't keep eggs in the fridge i've only put them in here just to, to show you now i eat a hell of a lot of eggs i have at least at least six a day sometimes eight usually uh on the top here as well i've got some cooked up minced beef or ground beef you would call it in America so that's a mixture of lamb and beef mince in there very nice so I've got a couple of packs of minced beef this is from Tesco's 20% fat it is yeah 20% fat um, preferably Aldi does a better one 25% fat but I haven't been over there recently uh, now this I know is not very clean but I do quite like them as a treat now and again they do have a bit of crap in them some uh, dextrose and stuff like that to help preserve them. So that's rare. Usually it's just meat, like uh, beef and, and these things here. I love, honest to God, these, that's why it's packed, it's hard to get them out. Tesco's finest. Now they're on special at the minute, but they're normally generally about five, 5.50 a steak. As you can see, they're quite decent quality. They've got some marble in there. They're not like, you know, chef standard or anything like that, but they are very nice. I have uh, two or three, it's gonna be a day of them. So at the minute I've got uh, I've got nine ribeyes and I've got four sirloins at the bottom. Um, bacon as well. I ate a lot of bacon. This is just the cheap Woodside Farms from Tesco's. Love that stuff. Um, I have that most days. Um, and this is something that the family is going to be having. I have left it in there because I will be having some. I'll probably just be having some of the legs and things like that. I love eating the, the skin if it's crispy. This one here does have some crap in it as well. It's got sage and onion stuffing. Uh, I, won't be eating, I won't be eating any of that. So, um, but yeah, the chicken itself, I will be having some of that. Um, in here, just keep general things. I've got uh, cheese, um, butter. This is the butter I, I use for myself. Kerry Gold, love that stuff. Um, yeah, I've got the different cheeses. What have I got in the front? Uh, some lard there and goose fat blended with beef dripping. I don't use that very often, but um, it is quite nice. Uh, I also drink quite a bit of this if people are wondering what I drink. San Pellegrino, San, can I even speak? San Pellegrino, lovely uh, sparkling water, and sometimes I'll have black decaf coffees as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That would last me a week if you haven't, like, see if I'm having two a day maybe three a day. Yeah, that's roughly about a week's worth of food for me, okay? Uh, as for what the other people in the household eat, um, we've got, I'll put them on the side here. I need to get them back in the fridge, but uh, I mean, it's not horrendous. Um, we've got burgers here, extra mature cheddar beef burgers, some caramelized onion ones. Uh, kids like these yogurts, um, got double cream, which I do have some of that actually sometimes. I have made Dr. Kilt's ice cream using that. Lovely. I don't eat any of this garbage. Bad for you. Well, it's not bad for you. Just useless, pointless stuff. Uh, mayonnaise, milk. Um, like very, very occasionally I might make one of them. Uh, we've got some egg whites. Nothing um, nothing too bad, to be honest with you. Nothing horrendous, anyway. Uh, apart from, what was this? this? This stuff here is, I think that's pretty crap, to be honest with you. Um, but yes, I think that's about it. I do sometimes as well. I know this is definitely not carnivore. But occasionally, mince gets a bit boring. I'll chuck a few of them in just to give it a bit of spice. So yes, that's what I would uh, generally eat in a seven day period. So let me know, uh, what is your fridge like? Are you a carnivore? Even if you're not a carnivore, what have you got in there? Is it good stuff? Or is it stuff that you believe is good? Uh, yeah, 
If you've got any questions about this carnivore lifestyle, drop them below. I might not be able to answer them, or I might be able to. I might be able to direct you to somebody that does. But like I say, there's loads of resources online. I've got links below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. You guys take care. And for now, I'll see you later.